I want to offer something hopeful. I see a lot of helplessness and lack of agency and fear, right? What are we going to do? Look what's happening to Palestinians. They're not listening to us. They don't care what we say. They don't care what we want. You have AI coming in, taking over um, jobs in the future. Everyone's like, what's going to happen when none of us have jobs? And we just see this totally dire future of uh, everyone having to live in the streets and no one can afford food and inflation's out of control and it's all price gouging and these companies are making record profits. What we always forget is that we, the people, always are, when you look at us collectively, by far the most powerful agent in these systems. The system of capitalism, especially late stage capitalism, where we're at now, it's not as smart as uh, it makes itself out to be, right? As the Elon Musks of the world and Jeff Bezos's uh, try to make us think it is. It has a lot of hubris. It has a lot of audacity, a lot of confidence that is ultimately unfounded. Because what happens when all of these consumer product goods companies, for instance, are using AI to create all their products and they no longer need employees? Who's buying the products? Who's buying them? With what money? Right? <laughs> if we get to a point that these companies cannot make a profit because no one has money or jobs to buy the things that they're making, it all falls apart. This is why right at the beginning of the pandemic, the government was like, oh shit, we gotta just give everyone money because people couldn't go to work and get paid. And they knew, they didn't give us money just because like, oh, let's make sure we keep a roof over their heads and we care about the well-being of these people. No, it was because they were terrified of the economy collapsing because we weren't spending. Also, they could then turn around and blame inflation on us when it's the majority of it is price gouging, but we're not going to get into that. It's all about us. It's always been us. The whole thing relies on us. And what's funny is even if we don't make a collective effort to divest from the system and we simply are exploited by it to the point that there's nothing else that they can suck out of us, it will collapse under its own weight all on its own, without any help from, from us choosing to do that. So if it got to that point, right, the government surely would step in. We were all shocked when they stepped in and gave everyone money. That We were like, what? Where did this money come from? They can just do that? Yes, yes, they can just do that. And guess what? If you have an economics degree, you already know this, but this idea that the number of jobs that need to get done, like the amount of work that there is to do, is somehow equal to the amount of money that the general population needs to put food on the table and roofs over their heads is completely untrue. Now, not a lot of people frame that fact that way. It's just an implicit belief that everybody has, right? There's a certain number of people, there's a certain number of jobs to be done. No, a lot of, a lot of jobs, there's entire industries <laughs> that don't need to exist. It's all just people coming in to make money off of each other and circulate money among the wealthiest people and, and find ways to hoard and accrue wealth to the people who already have it. It's all just a big system, a big Ponzi scheme to do that. At a certain point, right, every Ponzi scheme <laughs> falls apart. At a certain point, you have people at the bottom who are putting so much more in than they're getting out. It falls apart mathematically. So just keep in mind that we have all the power. And as we go into this holiday season, maybe it's good if we remind them sooner rather than later of just how much power we have. We do not need to buy as many of the things that we buy. And we can go local, we can create things for each other, we can do things for each other, get more involved in our communities, our buy nothing programs. I mean, there's a million different things that we can be doing. We do not have to keep living these individualistic, nuclearized consumerist lives. One way or another, they're going to come to an end because fewer and fewer people can afford these things and these comforts on their own. But never forget, we have all the power. If AI takes over all the jobs, who's buying the products? <laughs>